Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I am proud owner of Broken Wind Music Shop here in Jersey in the Channel Islands. I'm a musical instrument repairer by trade, specialising in woodwind and brass, hence the slightly naughty yet memorable name of my company, Broken Wind. A few weeks ago I came across a video on Crimson Guitars while watching our Lord of Luthiers, Mr Ben Crow, and I saw that he was doing the Great Guitar Build-Off really got into that and watching all the videos and then saw about the unofficial build off and thought you know what let's have a go why not you've built one guitar what could be possibly go wrong with this one so I decided to take on the challenge and went a little bit off piece shall we say so while coming up with the design for this build I thought I really like the idea of showcasing our little rock here in the channel that bit more and do something that's not only memorable and fun and different but something that the island's known for and so I decided to have a go at building an S-type guitar as a cow <sighs> why I do this to myself I don't know it has been an absolute blast I've had a roller coaster I am absolutely exhausted and have thoroughly enjoyed it and thank you to Ben for opening this up to the unofficial competition because it has thrown me out of my comfort zone by making me open a YouTube channel and do these videos which I'm going to continue doing. I'm going to do some repairing videos and anything I make in the future I am going to do um, videos for and put on my channel so please keep following me. Thank you to everyone for the support I've had over the last few weeks, the comments, the likes, the shares, the subscribers. Um, please keep that all coming and keep it going. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And everyone, please enjoy. This is my surf and turf guitar, the Orma headstock, and the beauty that is Violet the Cow. There we are. This is the first sketch of Violet. I'm going to call her not the typical Daisy because there's nothing going to be quite typical about her and I have picked up the timber which I'm going to use which is a lovely big hunk of beech. So I've got a lot going on at the moment as well as this with not much time so I must apologise in advance for all these videos because I'm going to be doing quite a lot of late nights probably not looking very with it on about three or four coffees and various states of eye closure. I think the ears look good size shape looks pretty good the one thing i'm not convinced by is the traditional style headstock Just a quick apology first i noted the other day that i thought a lot of coffee would be getting me through this build i think that was a little lie turns out it's bit i've decided to use another local inspiration this is an orma shell it's a local um shellfish as you might have guessed the holes reminded me of the holes in the headstock and it got me thinking maybe just something this plain, this simple is exactly what Violet needs to be above her head. Pretty much finished roughing up my headstock and got a bit carried away. Went through nice and thin, so I've got a proper scalloping bit out here. And beautifully thin, so thin, I went through it. So I've decided this is not a mistake, it's going to be a design aesthetic. And I'm going to use my inspiration and put more holes in it. I've got my Dremel out with the slightly different engraver tool and I've done some shell detailing, as you can see there on the back, I've got a spiral and the shell's going up and I've done my new holes. And then, as my little new design aesthetic, I've added in an actual piece of shell. You caught me in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> you can probably hear my brain cogs working from wherever you are in the world. So let me just show you, it'll be easier. This is where we're at. I have my neck pocket as done previously. My lovely centerline. 
my combination bridge with holes done for the support, which is kind of going to be her mouth. Then we have the lovely Jailhouse Rail 2 pickup that is going to be the nosy pickup. Now, the problem I find myself with is, some of you might have already realised it, but this pickup would normally, normally, need more tea, normally be, that's better, mounted in a strat style scratch plate and then you wouldn't see all of these gubbins at the bottom you would just see this bit however I'm not having the scratch plate because Violet's not going to look like an extra from Phantom of the Opera so what I'm going to do I think is make a little nose plate that the pickup can be mounted into making it hopefully not only functional, but even more nosy. So I previously mentioned on my original video, if you viewed that one, that the guitar I made for my brother-in-law, Tim, I put Jersey granite inlays on the neck, and I'm gonna do the same for this guitar. I think it's something that I want to do for each one I make. I think it's a nice little touch, maybe a signature of mine going forward. I quite like that idea. To those of you, there was quite a few of you when I was talking about my headstock ideas that suggested doing a cow's tail or there was multiple different like um, suggestions, milk bottles and churns, all that kind of thing. The reason I didn't do a tail is I'm going to do one on a bum, where it's supposed to be. From the moment I sketched Violet's face out on the beach, I was looking forward to shaping her ears. <laughs> and you know what? It is not disappointing. This is an absolute joy. It's so much fun just hacking away and being creative and doing this shaping. <laughs> it's really, really, really good giggle. People aren't so excited when you are creative with their expensive instrument that's in for repair so it's just lovely to have the freedom to do this it's really really fun there we go beautiful pair of lug holes quite pleased with that still obviously got yet more sanding to do but the shapes there can you see right there or maybe on an angle, that might be better. There we go. Yep. Might, she might be able to hear me now. I've been talking to her all this time, never got a reply. <laughs> there we go. So I thought I'd tackle one eye at a time. Just in case it didn't go to plan. Then I could rectify my mistakes when doing the next one. <laughs> Worst case, she'd end up looking like Pudsy Bear. So, slight change of plan on the scheduled works. <sighs> Nose plate just broke. Ah! Just when I realised how much time I was lacking in. Let's do something again, but... Oh well, lesson learned. Don't do that. So, time for a new nose more beer. So new day, new nose and I think this mug says it all really. Um, so I know a lot of people have their signatures or they do signature inlays and that kind of thing um, but one thing I do um, as part of my company is Broken Wind, um, the instruments that are written off and you can no longer fix all that uneconomical to repair. I make into furniture, so I've made various items. Um, I have a double base I've made into a TV stand for my house. Um, I've made lights out of trombones, saxophones, clarinets, pretty much everything. Anyway, with all those different bits that I create and make, um, I brand them. And I have a company branding iron, old school. Heat it up with a flame, can you see there? Um, and what could be more appropriate than putting that on the bum of a cow? Okay. 
gone down to 1200 all over but I have purposely left some little 400 not 400 let me try that again 40 grit um, markings in the hope that when I add the stain that will be oh, there we go that's a better view you see in here um, hopefully that will give a bit of fur like texture around the ears particularly just doing a little bit of experimenting for Violet's eyes um, her obviously cow's eyes are black um, but I want them to have a bit of a shine to the machine a little twinkle in her eye should we say this is actually the rear guard shielding paint that I then buffed up and then applied some of the stunning stains to it so there's like oh can you see a nice little glint and sheen I think it might give her the required twinkle there we have it first set of stain done we'll see how it do you see the back's already starting to dry off and it's a lot lighter than first applied Violet, how's it hanging? She is strings and all. <sighs> the joy that is Violet. I'm gonna give her a hug. Thank you for watching and if you like what I do and this is of interest to you, you fancy a custom build, give me a shout. I'm obviously on this YouTube channel or on Facebook, Broken Wind Facebook page or you can email me at brokenwindlive.co.uk and all I'm left to say is thank you all for watching and one final thank you to my friend Dom who stepped in last minute when unfortunately my performance coordinator wasn't available with this to meet my deadline so my friend Dominic has kindly helped out and so he's going to play us out with Violet. Aww.